What's up everyone? Today I'm back with another moth video. This just hatched from its cocoon. And if you're wondering what it is, we're looking at the female of the Anterea helferi. This beautiful silk moth is one of the many, many, many Anterea species that are found in the tropical regions of Asia. This particular species is found around the Himalaya, in parts of Laos and Malaysia. Probably in a lot of other countries too. But I'm not sure of the full distribution. One thing remains clear however, it is an absolutely gorgeous animal. Just look at that, wow! I really love Anterea moths and I haven't given them a lot of attention lately, but I think I should in the future. And for next year I plan to uh, breed more of them. Anterea helferi can be bred in captivity. And some of my friends have already raised them on several types of plants, including sweet gum, liquid amber, bird tree, betula, but also eucalyptus. There's a reasonable chance that they will eat more plants, maybe even cherry, prunus, but this is yet to be confirmed. So take that with a grain of salt. This species is very variable and can have different colors. What's also interesting is that the veins on their wings can be very accented and black, but in this case, this female doesn't seem to have a lot of black scaling. Maybe if a male hatches, then I can show you. This species, I believe, should be continuously brooded, for it comes from the tropics. And here I'm holding a cocoon. Anterea species are often farmed for their silk cocoons. I don't think many people are breeding the Helferi, but when you go to Asia, it's not uncommon to find Anterea cocoons for sale on uh, the market there. I've been to Laos myself, and in Luang Prabang, people were selling the cocoons of uh, many Anterea species there, on the market. So, just take a look at that guys, it's an amazing beauty, isn't it? Wow, I really enjoy silk moths. So I guess um, if I will have a male soon and I succeed in uh, pairing the, f the male and female together then I'm going to try and breed it. If not, then you'll just have this video to enjoy. Wow, look at those eye spots. Amazing really, isn't it? Let's check, take a look at the underside. Oh, it's pretty too. Whoop, it's a bit awkward. There you go. A little bit more camouflage on the underside, but... What an awesome, lovely silk moth species. Thank you guys for watching. I think I've shown enough. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.